you know what that means. All right. You know what? Misa Hilton has spent the last two decades, the last two decades, creating some of the best fashion in hip hop and R&B. With undeniable passion and precision, Misa has left an incredible line of work that will last forever and always re be remembered as nothing short of excellent. Can y'all hear me back there? Because I want to make sure you can hear this. Wave if you can hear me back in the back. All right. Misa being inspired by fashion at an early age developed into a key fashionista that went on to create extraordinary looks for legendary artists such as Jodeci, Notorious B.I.G., Lil' Kim, Mary J. Blige, and many, many more. In 1995, the oh-so-gifted Misa Hilton developed an image consulting firm known as China Doll Enterprises. The company continues to nurture the style of many more well-known artists. And in 2007, listen to this now, y'all are talking back there, listen. In 2007, after years of profound work, Misa started her own online luxury boutique known as Madison Star Couture. Now listen, this is a woman who has taken a gift that she has and turned it into an entrepreneurial experience, okay? Everyone needs to follow this example. <laughs> Madison Star Couture offers up everything fabulous from dazzling couture dresses to glamorous accessories. Misa has made a lasting impression that will inspire others and add several pages to fashion magazines worldwide. I present to you the Blackout Award, the Naomi Sims Award of Excellence winner, Miss Misa Hilton. for me to express my talent and my gift. So I have to thank God first and foremost. I have to thank my parents because they supported me in my career choice. They might just know what it is that I do now, 17 years from now. <laughs> but back then it was like, you're not gonna finish school, you're not gonna do this and you're not gonna do that. But I followed my heart and I followed, you know, the dreams that I had in my mind and I'm here today. I have to thank my three beautiful children for sharing their mother with her career for being so understanding. It's been many long nights, many days of traveling, and thank you so much. I love you, Nico, Justin, and Madison Starr. I have to thank my man and my partner, Rasul, for holding me down in every way. I love you so much. Dealing with me is not easy all the time, but you do it so well, and I love you for that. You complete me. I have to thank Eddie F. He gave me my first job at Untouchables Entertainment. I was uh, the director of artist development, and I got to work, uh, work with Intro. God bless Kenny Green. From there on, my independence started. Um, before that, as you all know, I worked with Mary J. Blige and Jodeci, but working with Eddie, he gave me my first shot of being on my own. And I have to thank Lance Unrivera because he trusted my crazy ideas 
their colorful wigs, all the things I wanted to do with Little Kim, he let me do it and he gave me the platform to really show what I could do. And I will always love him for that. He put me on to, the, to being involved in movies and film. And I really have to thank Lance Unger because I have so many ideas in my head and I know you all know how that feels. And you just want to let it out and show your creativity. And when someone gives you that opportunity, opportunity to be able to do so, it really makes you feel good and you always remember that person. I have to thank H.P. Singh, B.J. Coleman, and the Coleman Entertainment Group. Gladys and Christina, they hold me down, make sure I'm right, make sure I'm at the right places at the right time, and that my business runs smoothly, and I really appreciate that. I have to thank the original China Doll, Team Tiff, Jai, Clarence, J, Warren Vice, Melinda, uh, Patrice, um, uh, let me make sure I'm not forgetting nobody. Uncle Kenny, that's right, and Trina Be Real. I wouldn't be standing here today if they didn't support me, hold me down, hold down the company, hold down the fort, and have my back. Those long nights, those videos, traveling from state to state and out of the country, if it wasn't for them, I would never have been able to further my career in the way that I have. So I really love them so much. Without them, I really wouldn't be here today. I'm going to take my time now because I ain't going to forget nobody. <laughs> to Mary J. Blige, Jodeci, Intro, Missy Elliott, Little Kim, Case, Faith Evans, Total, Fat Joe, Chris Rock, Kamora Lee, Russell Simmons, Naomi Campbell, Q, I Love You, Atiba, Christopher Michael, Groovy Lou, Mike B, Norma Organblitz, Rhonda Cowan. I love you all so much. To Terrence Davison for bringing back China Doll Management. I love you so much. You remind me of the importance of going forward, being productive, and not let anything stop me. Thank you, and I love you for that. <laughs> this road has been filled with memorable. <laughs> this felt. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> this road has been filled with memorable moments. I'm proud to be a part of a time that made a mark in, his, in the history of fashion and the hip hop culture. And just the experience that I have, I mean, they're going to be talking about this 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. For me to have been able to contribute to that is a blessing. And I thank God again for putting me at the right places at the right time. So I urge you all to express your uniqueness and creativity and to always be the best you. When you have the opportunities to do anything that you want to do, take advantage of them. Don't be scared. You may have many obstacles in front of you. So what? Obstacles are made to overcome and to get over. You can do anything you want to do. Keep God first always and everything else falls into place. Thank you so much and thank you for your patience. look around, just take a moment before we give the next award because this is going to be history. Next year, the year after, the year after that, you're going to think, you know, I was at the very first Blackout Awards and Lisa Hilton was there and all of the people who got awards because this is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and grow more and more and more because it's so important that we make sure that we acknowledge the people who are behind the scenes that make everything fabulous. Well, you know, what can I say about our next honoree that hasn't already been said? He is a man that you would call the fashion and beauty general. Salute. The key renaissance man of fashion, Nole Marin. If you want to know the tools to be a successful model today, you need to keep this man close at all times. With contributions to major magazines such as Elle and Esquire, Allure, and Vogue. And holding it down, of course, on a judge, as a judge, on the popular Tyra Banks produced series, America's Next Top Model. You can trust that this man knows his stuff. As a celebrity stylist, No Lay has molded looks for top celebrities such as Lenny Kravitz, Alicia Keys, Kanye West, Cynthia Nixon, Ricky Martin, Vivica A. Fox, Gabrielle Union, and the list goes on and on and on. Discovering and making models
models into supermodels is a talent that only can be that of Nole. Nole discovered new supermodel Sean Oakley and has modeled, and he has modeled, I'm sorry, they've modeled and sold millions for Calvin Klein, Giorgio Armani. Nole's mentorship can only produce absolutely the best. And with several new projects in the works, there's no sign of this fashion master slowing down. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you stylist, teacher, mastermind, mentor, innovator, and the winner of the 2010 Blackout Vanguard Award, Mr. Nole Marlin. Uh-oh, I don't see no one back there. What you doing in here then? 
Hello? Models, what's going on? All right, guys. All I'm gonna say is thank you so very much. This is an incredible evening. And this is the only person next to my bed right now. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sharon Sanity.